Hey everyone, it's Coley, and today I'm going to do the I Heart Spring tag. I'm pretty sure this tag was created by Miss Glamorazzi. That's the first place and only place that I've seen it so far, and I'm pretty sure she came up with the questions. There's 12 of them. So I'm just going to jump right into it. First question, what is your favorite spring nail polish? My favorite spring nail polish is probably this... Sally Hansen nail polish. It is called Temptation. It is like a pinky corally color and I've been really liking this so it's definitely probably going to be one of my go-to spring nail polishes. Another nail polish that I really like I'm wearing today. This is called Twining Vines by Wet n Wild and it is like a goldish green color with some sparkle going on in there. It reminds me of another one of my favorite spring nail polishes of last year, which is this Sally Hansen one. They're very similar. The Wet n Wild one is a little bit more gold and has a little bit more sparkle. This Sally Hansen one doesn't really have sparkle. It just has like a shine. This one is called Ivy League. I'm loving all these colors for spring. Number two, what is your must-have lip color? So I'm really looking forward to pale peach lips. I don't know if that's a trend or not, but that's something that I've been gravitating towards, and I'm still trying to find my perfect, like, peach, pale peach, a little on the milky side, lip gloss slash lipstick combo. I'm still searching for it. I have, like, an image in my head of the perfect color, so... If I find it, I'll let you guys know. Another thing I'm looking forward to is the bright, vivid lips, um, corals, rose, stuff like that. Right now, I'm really loving this Revlon Lip Butter in Tutti Fruity, which I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's a really nice corally color, and there's quite a bit of pigmentation in this, so it's just really fun, and you know these are awesome. This is the only one I have so far. Looking forward to building my collection of lip butters this spring. Three, show us your favorite spring dress. So pretty much this is what's up right now. I'm pregnant, none of my clothes fit, and two, we are trying to sell my house, so we're going to be moving soon, so a lot of my clothes are packed away anyway because we needed to clear out as much space in our closets as possible because, I don't know, you're supposed to have the house look as clean and decluttered as possible. So I packed away a lot of my clothes, one, because they don't fit anyway, because I'm pregnant. So I don't really have too much out, but I'll show you the one springy dress that I do have. I'm wearing it right now for the sake of the video. So this is my dress. It's just a kind of, it's just a really plain blue dress and the way the top fits me my bra shows but it's comfortable and I fit into it and this isn't a dress but it's a skirt and I bought this last year and I absolutely love it it's just a really flowy striped skirt wicked comfortable and it's perfect beach skirt number four what is your favorite flower my favorite flower is daisies always had a thing for daisies. I have a daisy tattoo on my ankle. I really like pink ones. Number five, favorite spring accessory. Um, I don't really have much in terms of accessories, but since I'm growing my hair out, which I will explain about why my hair is so crazy, maybe in another video if anyone's interested, but headbands to push it back because that's really the only thing I can do for style. If you noticed in the past few videos, I've been wearing my hair pushed back in a headband, just a black one. That's the only one I have right now. Number six, what spring trend are you most excited for? So I've been seeing a lot of pastel jewelry, like pastel aqua colors, pastel pink type jewelry, and that I'm really gravitating towards. Also, I went into Old Navy the other day, and they have so many like really bright fun colorful clothes so I'm really hoping that after I give birth I will be able to fit into some 
summer clothes that are somewhat fashionable, but we'll just have to see. Number seven, favorite spring candle. Um, I don't really have any candles. I'm not a candle collector, so sorry. Number eight, favorite body spray or perfume for spring. So I just bought this fragrance, and let me tell you, when I first smelled it, when it first came out, I really didn't think it was anything special. I was like, oh, that's nice, but it's not like, ooh, I need to have that. I never really was gravitated towards it until last week I was in Walmart and I sprayed myself with a little tester and I left Walmart and later that day I got a whiff of myself and I was like ooh I smell good what is that and then I remembered that I had sprayed the tester on myself and this is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift I don't know why it took me so long to get into this fragrance but I'm loving it now so I just bought this bottle and this is going to be what I'm going to use until it runs out. Hmm, I just want to smell it now. I think the bottle is really cute too. I feel like it's just a perfect sweet but not like, it's just not too anything. It's just there and it's nice and I really love it. Number nine, what is spring like where you live? So spring is a transition period where I live. I live in New England, so the weather changes every five minutes. Um, it's not technically spring yet. March 20th or 21st, I think, starts spring. But right about now, the snow is starting to melt. There's still, like, big snow piles in some places where it hasn't melted yet. We have days where, like, today it's pretty chilly out, but then last week we had some... 50 degree days which is considered warm and in the next few weeks the weather will stop being so patchy and it'll slowly get more towards you know 50 degrees the snow will melt then it'll be muddy for a while and then April is really the transformation month here in New England so I can't wait number 10 what is your favorite thing about spring my favorite thing about spring is the snow melting I hate snow, I hate winter, I hate living in New England, so when the weather starts to get nice, I feel like this like dark cloud that's been looming over me just disappears and it's like I can go for walks and go outside and get fresh air and it is so amazing and I'm probably going to go for a walk after I shoot this video. Even though it's a little chilly out today, I just need to get out of the house and do something and my dog needs to go for a walk. Number 11, are you a spring cleaner? I never really thought about this before, but I don't really think I'm a spring cleaner. I think I go through like phases where like, it could be any time of year, maybe it is spring, where I'm just like, I'll purge myself of items, kind of like I did last year. I think it was spring and I decided that I wasn't going to buy any more makeup and I was going to... I gave away a lot of my makeup and then I threw out everything that my friend didn't want. I got rid of like a lot of my jewelry. Pretty much all these material items I pretty much got rid of because I wanted to try and find happiness other ways like search within myself and find it which didn't work. I love makeup and I love material items so if that brings me happiness then for 12 any plans for spring break slash vacations? Right now I'm working at my job for as long as I can and then I will be giving birth hopefully in early May. My due date's May 5th. I can't wait to not be pregnant anymore. That is, that's my plans. <laughs> that's my plans for this spring, to no longer be pregnant. And then I guess adjust to my new life because I have no idea what it's going to be like. I have a lot of appointments going on in the next couple months. Work, doctor's appointments, and giving birth. Those are my spring plans. <laughs> so those are all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was a really fun tag. So thank you, Ms. Glimrazzi, for creating it. I'll see you guys soon.